Hello, welcome back to my channel with me, Dr. Abdul Malik Setiawan. Today, I would like to show you how to use a centrifugator. So, behind me, I have uh, two types of centrifugator. Both are from uh, Appendorf. So, this small one, so the small one is the regular uh, centrifugator, but this one, it has uh, a capability to uh, change the temperature. So if you want to centrifuge some live cells or some samples that need to be centrifuged or that need to keep on, uh, let's say, 4 degrees Celsius, you have to use this one. Okay? So check this video. You only live once. Educate your life. Okay, so this one is Attendorf Centrifuge 5810R. So this one has a capability to decrease the temperature. So first you have to turn on the button. And the machine is starting up. If it's already ready to be used, we just have to open the or if it's in off position we just turn it on let's say like this turn it on and if it's already ready we just do press the open and actually it's already open so this is how uh, the bigger uh, centrifuge looks like so you have to open this unscrew uh, just rotate counterclockwise and open and you just put your samples so this is the, the smaller tube uh, I would like to say the 1.5 uh, mil or 2 mil of Eppendorf tube so after you put all your samples just close it but before that because if you want to change the temperature so you have to change this temperature first so this this machine is already set to four degree but if you want to change just click and then just press down or maybe change to, uh, to whatever temperature that you want to set but it will always need a four degree the, the, the standards because if we need uh, more like not for degree, we just use other centrifuge. So this one is already set to twelve thousand, but you have to know which twelve thousand is. Is it RPM or RCF? Okay. So there are different different indicators. So if there is no indicator at all, it should be RPM. If there is a start slow go, it RCF. And if there is a, this this spherical logo, it should be in radial. So you have to know first which uh, which setting that you want to use. Let's say I want to centrifuge uh, with uh, let's say five thousand G, right? So five thousand G is equal as RCF. You have to change this first uh, the speed, okay? Ah, so if there is a this star, it means the RCF. If you change to this type, it means the radial. So you have to know which uh, setting that you want to use. Don't don't just put twelve thousand or something like that. So there are conversion uh, number between RCF and RPM. So for this this one, there is is G equal to G five thousand G uh, fifteen thousand G. Let's say, uh, let's say we want to change this uh, 15,000 G. So this one is 15,000 G, and 15,000 G is equal to 11,800 RPM. So you have to know that different different centrifuge has different uh, conversions because it depends on the length of the of the diameter of the of the of the button okay so this machine is turning on it means it changed the 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 the, the, 
cooler is turning on so because I don't want to use it I'll turn it off so this one is the minutes so how many how long you want to spin the samples okay so I'll just turn it off now just turn it off turn it off and then after that we have to uh, the off button okay so this one is basically a similar centrifuge but smaller this is uh, Eppendorf uh, centrifuge 5702R so there will be uh, information about the, the length or the diameter of the, of the rotator and for this for this centrifuge we can set the time we, can also, we cannot set the temperature but we cannot we, but we can uh, set the speed so how we set the speed first after you put your samples in here let's say just remember you put uh, same same uh, weight in the opposite side which is close and then this already been set to so this is already been set to five minutes so this this temperature is following the, the room temperature and this one is the rpm this one there is a information times thousand it's different with with this one so it means we have to know how many uh, how many speed that we want to use and which which calculation that we want to use is it rpm or rcf how to use the rpm or how to change we have to press this so there's a speed press rpm or rcf this is in L rpm so it means this is the speed of this setting is 1600 rpm so 1600 equal to 400 rcf so it's different with the bigger one so the bigger one is basically similar 12,000 equal to 11,000 11, so this one is like uh, three times bigger the rpm okay so if you want to spin let's say 500g which is uh, rotate counterclockwise uh, clockwise increase and counterclockwise will decrease so 500g equal to 1800 rpm on this machine every machine will have a different uh, conditions and then you just you can change the length of the, of the speed it says five minute and you just press this to start the, the speed so basically it's different for the bigger one you press start or stop to start the, the speed okay so this is how to use the centrifuge check my other videos goodbye people do many things in their life sometimes we fail sometimes we succeed but we always learn from them welcome to the learning factory by abdul malik satyawan